Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel and to this midweek update. Now, whenever you see me uploading a video that is off schedule from my regular Sunday upload, that means I have a very important and urgent message that I want to share with you all as soon as possible. Now, you have all seen this thumbnail with a bar chart showing currently more than half of the COVID-19 patient admitted in hospital in England are with COVID and not for COVID. Now, if you follow this channel long enough, you would know that I would never make up a story like this. So I'm going to walk you through the process and show you how I retrieved this data from official source and how I generated this chart. So right now we are looking at this NHS website that tells the public about COVID-19 hospital activities. Now let's first click to the link of public definition so that we know how the NHS defines hospital admitted COVID-19 patients. Okay, so the first bullet point here clearly defines a confirmed COVID-19 patient is any patient admitted to the trust, that means NHS hospitals, who has recently, in the last 14 days, tested positive for COVID-19 following a PCR or polymerase chain reaction test. Now, in other words, as long as a patient had a confirmed PCR cases of COVID-19 and is admitted to hospital for other illnesses, the patient would still be considered as an admitted COVID-19 case based on the NHS definition. Now, let's go back a page and scroll down okay, the page and download one of the latest uh, Excel file that is released by the NHS. And it's this one, Primary Diagnosis Supplemental, January 27th, 2022. Okay, now we have opened this file and let me enlarge it a little bit so that you can see better. Okay, so here on the first page, we see a condensed table that tell us the total number of beds or hospital beds that are occupied by confirmed COVID-19 patients from January 13th to January 25th. Okay, now this table does go way back to very, very early days. I just need to tell you that. And we see the number, it's been trending down from uh, 14,000 two weeks ago about, and to a couple of days ago to about 13,000. Okay, so that is a good news. And let's look at the second page here. Now this second page, let's also enlarge a little bit so that we can see it better. This second page or second sheet, we see the number of confirmed COVID-19 patients who are being treated primarily for COVID-19. So these are the number that is actually for COVID-19. And the previous page is the total number that is for COVID and with COVID. Now we also see the number has been trending down from 8,000 cases or 8,000 bed to 6,000 bed. Now I've copied this two set of data to another Excel sheet. Let's look at it together. So I've already copied those two lines of data into a separate uh, sheet there. Now, you're welcome to check my number. I did not make up any of those number. And here we have the numbers that shows the total hospitalized, okay, from 14,000 to 13,000. And for COVID, which is the number given in the file that we just looked at right here. Okay. Now, we can do a very simple subtraction. So I did a simple subtraction of total hospitalized number minus the number that is emitted for COVID-19. And we get a new 
row of number that is the number of patient admitted with COVID, but for other illnesses, and then I divide the number by the total number of patients and generated the fourth row of number that is the percentage of patients currently in the hospital in England with COVID nineteen, but not for COVID nineteen. So. After that, I transpose the number into a vertical column, date versus the percentage, and I plotted this graph. Okay, so this graph is exactly what you see, uh, in the thumbnail there, and after I plot this number, here is the bar chart. So since January twenty third, more than half of the COVID nineteen patients have been admitted actually, uh, with COVID and not for COVID. Now this number is alarming, that most of us are not detailed enough to dig this deep. Now when we look at the official number reported on the UK government website. So this dot gov website, and we can see that the number reported is patients admitted for and with COVID. Okay, now I do have to point out that this number, especially for my non UK viewers, is higher than the NHS number I just showed you because it includes data from England, North Ireland, Wales, and Scotland. Now we can cross reference this number with. The Our World in Data website, and it's basically showing the same data as the UK government website. So I know I don't have a lot of UK viewers, but this set of data at least show us people in other countries that the most reported number in mainstream media may not be reflecting the actual number of patients that are admitted in hospital that are for COVID. Now, the UK is at least being very honest and put this data up on the internet for us to look at. But unfortunately, this level of information may not be very accessible for many people in other countries. And to wrap up this video, I think it is extremely important for the US CDC to clarify how many of the COVID nineteen associated hospitalizations that are listed. On their website are for COVID and not with COVID. That is all for this quick update, and I'll see you again this Sunday for a regular update. And meanwhile, please take care. Bye.